Welcome to Boss Experiments. The new Ark creature, Rhino Gata, can enter the Crystal Isles Boss Arena. And in this video, we will experiment how well they can do against the Crystal Wyvern Queen. I recommend bringing a good shotgun with couple of hundreds ammo to any boss fight. Two good flag sets and lots of medbrews. Also, because we're flying, few parachutes to keep yourself safe and some food with water cans for this boss arena so i placed 19 rhino to the green obelisk i'll be riding one and observe the fight between 18 rhino and the gamma crystal wyvern all my rhinos are level 150 that's around 8000 hp and they're all wearing primitive saddles all right this army was enough for the gamma manticore so let's see the gamma crystal wyvern queen once you're in the arena hop on to a rhino and whistle attack my target to the Wyvern Queen. It has 400,000 HP. That's four times of the Manticore. And when you fight this boss, you have to micromanage and make sure the little Wyverns are killed before they quickly grow and do substantial damage to your Rhino army. Also, this boss has phases of different behaviors. After you damage a certain amount, it gets up and starts flying around. The Crystal Wyvern Queen also does all the breath attacks in order. Tropical, Blood and Ember attacks. If you are here with a flyer, make sure that your stamina is not depleted in the sky you'll fall and get stuck on the ground i didn't dismount here to avoid the fall damage because a wyvern was after me and i took a lot of fall damage that's something we need to avoid the crystal wyvern queen has more than 274,000 hp left that's barely half and there it goes all of my rhinos are gone with four times more hp than the manticore crystal wyvern queen and her spawns win this fight now i level them up to level 200 and for the most they have around 20,000 hp each some has little more and some has little less So we just lost our first Rhino. This was also pretty quick. Crystal Wyvern Queen has less HP at the end of the previous fight, around 4000 HP less, so this might work. We were really close this time, but my last Rhino just died. 110,000 HP is the lowest we could get the Gamma Wyvern Queen. Now, I gave every single of my Rhinos 100 resin and I activated their resin armor for the battle. I am down to 50 resin now and we haven't lost any rhinos and the crystal wyvern queen has lost almost half of her HP. Now I'm down to 25 resin, it's almost down to 100,000 HP and we only lost 3 rhinos. I think we will win this time. I have 4 resin left and the resin armor is about to expire but we only lost 8 rhinos so far. The crystal wyvern queen is left with 7,000 HP. I think it's gonna go down There you go, level 218 rhinos wearing prim saddles with the resin armor on can kill the crystal wyvern queen on gamma difficulty without any interfering from the survivor. We did lose 8 rhinos though, but if I used even a prim shotgun this would have been a lot easier and probably with less rhino deaths, maybe none. Now same comp but the crystal wyvern queen is at beta difficulty, the beta version has 675 
5,000 HP. That's 275,000 more than the Gamma. This is quite a lot of HP to handle. They do a lot of damage when they catch it in the sky like this. It lost almost 30% of its HP and we haven't lost a single Rhino. But still, the Crystal Wyvern Queen just has too much HP. We took down half of it and we lost 9 Rhinos. That's half of my army. Rest is alive but they are low on health. And that's the last Rhino died in the battle. So level 200, 18 Rhinos with Prim Saddles is not strong enough to take down the Beta Crystal Wyvern Queen without using a shotgun or any other weapon. So I thought the resin is consumed very quickly for the boss fight so I gave them 100 more each. And I also leveled them up 25 more. Now we'll try this with 225 level Rhinos. I'm at 125 resin, it's down to 426,000 HP, and we only lost 3 Rhinos. Now I'm at 50 resin, it's down to 370,000 HP, but we lost 16 Rhinos. At this point, it's pretty impossible to win this with 2 low HP Rhinos. So far, I only used 4 stained 150 level Rhinos, and they all had different stat points. Some of them could get 30,000 HP, but some would be stuck at 22,000 HP. So I decided to make all of them have the same HP stat points by cloning two pair of Rhinos with the same HP stat. This way they will all have 30,000 HP. There you go. The clones are popping into the existence. And this is my clone army. 18 Rhino with the same exact stats. But I also added 100 more resin each. In total they have 300 resin. That's plenty for any boss fight. I am at 200 resin now, and the beta crystal wire and queen is down to 411,000 HP, and so far we only lost one rhino. I use half of my resin and it's at 254,000 HP, but we lost 8 rhinos. Alright, I have 118 resin left, but I have lost all of my rhinos, and the wire and queen has more than 200,000 HP. We always start this fight pretty well, but the Wyvern spawns over Beras at the end. Now, it's time to do another upgrade. I will give them an apprentice saddle of 62 armor. I don't want to increase their level beyond this because then they will be in an over mutated category. These rhinos are just like good tanks. They have around 30 stat points on everything. Not great, but good tanks. So, this blue saddle will be their final upgrade. Unfortunately, the new saddles were not enough as well. So before I end this experiment, I just wanted to try one more thing. What if instead of HP, I leveled them up in melee damage and then I did that. So these rhinos have only 8000 HP, but they have around 600 melee damage. So let's see that. Now I am at 275 resin. So we just spent 25 resin and look at that. Beta Crystal Wyvern Queen has lost almost half of its HP and we just lost one Rhino. So if my Rhinos don't start dying instantly in few minutes, I think this is gonna be a win. It was pretty close but we lost this battle as well. So standing aside and watching the fight is a no go with these Rhino stats. Now we will see the power of the shotgun. I will join this fight and hunt the beta Crystal Wyvern Queen and her spawns. Thank you. 
all right it's gonna go down the primitive shotgun did some good work and i haven't lost a single rhino this battle was a complete success now let's try the alpha but the alpha has an insane amount of hp almost 1 million health that's more than the two times the gamma had but i got a shotgun My primitive shotgun couldn't do it, it wasn't enough, so all of my rhinos are gone. We did manage to take off almost 600,000 HP, but it's still standing strong. I wasted 144 runs of bullets, each does 24 damage to the Wyvern Queen. So let's assume if I hit 10 rounds every shot, that's 34,000 damage. With an ascended shotgun, I could do 3 times more, so that's at least 100,000 damage. It might seem not enough to take it down, but the real damage comes from the Wyvern spawns. They do overcrowd you and do good DPS. So with a capped shotgun, I might win this. I have an officially capped shotgun with 298% damage. So let's see it. Well, ascended shotgun barely made any difference. My shotgun ammo almost ran out and this was a catastrophe. I thought it can be done, but I need better saddles and I need better rhinos to take down the alpha crystal wyvern queen. I couldn't beat this wyvern with level 225 18 rhinos wearing 62 armor saddles with resin armor. So that's it for this experiment. Thank you for watching dear watchers and see See you on the next video.